It can be a physically, emotionally and financially exhausting journey for families of children with cancer. A journey that can last for many years. Whether it's a sandwich to ensure parents have eaten or a chat about feelings, our charity in Sheffield is doing all it can to make that journey a little easier. The Parents Association of Children with Tumours and Leukaemia, known as PACT, is a charity that works within Sheffield Children's Hospital with patients and families affected by cancer. At PACT, we understand and care for families by offering them emotional and practical support. Our charity was founded more than four decades ago when a group of parents created a support group for families whose children had cancer and raised money for them to enjoy a Christmas party. Since then, PACT has grown and grown and we now offer treats, trips and holidays for families of children being treated for cancer in Sheffield. We own and run a house right next to the hospital, a home from home for a family meal or the chance to catch up on much needed sleep. Plus, we have two caravans at two well-known holiday parks, one for children on treatment and one for children who have completed their treatment. These caravans offer families registered with PACT a much needed holiday, as we understand the importance of making memories to last a lifetime. As well as practical and emotional support, some of the money raised by PACT is used to support outreach nurses and play specialists by providing them with a yearly grant so they can purchase items that are not readily available on the NHS. We found ourselves at Sheffield Children's Hospital where we received a diagnosis from my son who was 15 at the time of AML, which is an aggressive kind of leukaemia. That was the moment that I learned about PACT and what they do. PACT House offer rooms for families that, uh, you know, families live far away, but we fortunately don't live too far away so we didn't need a room however they offered us the facilities to use the kitchen and, and just the house just in general which was amazing because it was just a godsend to just be able to walk up pop a pizza in the oven or just something simple and be able to take a fresh prepared item down to him and just for us as well you're on the ward your brain's working over time you're seeing children and their families going through all kinds of grief and trauma and just to be able to take five minutes just to come and have a cuppa and let your mind relax for just five minutes. That was just, it was just a relief really. PACT just made our journey in hospital that little bit more bearable. I can't imagine what it would be like without them there because it just made everything easier. At the beginning of Bobby's diagnosis, having been delivered the most horrific news, not knowing what, where and what's gonna happen, the two friendly faces that I will never forget are Sarah and Beryl. Emotional support and a friendly face goes a long, long way on a ward of that nature. The offer of getting you a sandwich and a cup of tea, the things that you as a mum will not go and do because you don't want to leave your child in that room on their own because you're too scared to at that point. I stayed with my son constantly, but Packed House enabled my husband also to be nearby, so he was able to come up and sleep here on certain days, which was really beneficial for us, because it, it keeps some form of family unity happening in the most difficult circumstances. I found the support groups really, really useful because you're able to talk to other families and you soon come to realise that any uncertainties or any concerns, you're not on your own. So having that is really, really important. My daughter was diagnosed about one, one or two o'clock in the morning at Grimsby Hospital. So my wife was rushed to Sheffield Children's Hospital about early hours of the morning. We hadn't heard about PACT until the following day and it was a relief because the first night I spent in a hotel. So the following day one of the nurses had mentioned to me, have you heard of PACT House? So I'd spoken to Beryl, who's in charge of PACT House, and a key was given to me and then I went to go stay there. The help and support that PACT provide isn't just the home. They offer short breaks and there's two locations, one's in Filey, that's North Yorkshire, and the other one was in Berwick-upon-Tweed, just near the borders of Scotland. When you're in a state of trauma, you're not in the frame of mind to start looking for holidays. And it almost seems insincere. When someone comes along and says, look, go have a break, you really need it, and take all your children with you. And we're allowed to bring my mother-in-law and father-in-law. So imagine having grandma and granddad 
on site, playing with the kids, going for long walks. And that seemed like a dream come true. In 2010, December, my son was diagnosed with cancer, a form called rhabdosarcoma. I met Beryl when my son first started chemotherapy. The door was always open to come and speak to Beryl whenever I needed her. Um, she used to make sure we all ate when we was on the wards and take the children on trips and things. All the families come together, whether they're bereaved parents or parents who are still on treatment. And it's like your own little family. After a 14-week fight, at the end I remember he passed away peacefully at Blue Bellwood. They do a coffee morning once every month where bereaved parents go to packed house and it's nice because all the people in there are all in the same situation so you feel easy to be able to talk to people and we still go on all the trips and they go to Christmas parties and other events. Pact is an amazing charity and it's very close to my heart and I will always try and support it as much as I can. Pact offers support to the families of every child diagnosed with cancer and who are treated at Sheffield Children's Hospital, irrespective of where they live. Our help continues when the child is in remission until they reach adult services, or even if the child sadly does not survive. Donations can help Pact support families just like Nikki, Fiona, Kirsty and Dean during their journey from diagnosis and beyond. Because we don't use professional or paid fundraisers, we are a charity that relies solely on funds raised by our supporters. So how would your donations help? You can donate to PACT to help support families, the ward and outpatients clinic at the hospital, the PACT house and the caravans. Every penny raised contributes towards PACT being able to carry on its valuable work. Let's keep supporting children with cancer and leukaemia together.